The Safari Rally, one of the world's longest and toughest rallies, a grueling challenge to men and machines amidst the rugged grandeur of the East African landscape. Behind every one of these men lies extensive rallying experience. But the driving strength of these men alone is not enough. Preparations at Nissan begin early and are meticulously carried out. In October 1978, skilled mechanics were already confronting the task of building a superior rallying vehicle, the Datsun PA-10. Nairobi, the capital of Kenya, and the site of the Safari Rally. Nissan dispatched eight veteran mechanics under team leader Wakabayashi to serve as the nucleus of the service system. Final checks were made to ensure quick, accurate servicing during the rally. A total of 12 service cars and about 40 staff were assembled to ensure the best possible support. This combination of highly skilled driver and service team plus an outstanding car provides the overall formula needed to acquire a winning edge, plus the important factor of a deep trust in the car. On the day of the race, all cars undergo extensive inspections from the officials. The Datsun PA-10, Mercedes-Benz, Peugeot, Fiat. Each one a world-famous car, each one an anticipated winner. Shaker Mehta, winner of the 1973 Safari Rally, and the Datsun PA-10 are, quite naturally, a center of attention. Harry Kallstrom, another much-respected professional. The teaching parts are sealed to ensure fairness. With the tension rising, the drivers are given their final briefing. April 12, 1979, a perfect day for the 27th Safari Rally. 66 finely tuned vehicles comprise the entrance. Among them, many world famous names, Peugeot, the Automobile Alliance of Africa, and last year's winner, Fiat, aiming for their first win. And six perfectly primed Mercedes, backed up by a world record support team, two helicopters, two planes, and 52 service cars. Excitement mounts rapidly as starting time closes in. Nissan's Rauno Altonen, who narrowly missed victory last year, will start first. Next comes the Mercedes, then Fiat. The veteran Karlstrom appears icily cool. Cars are started one after the other, with a two-minute interval between. Meta starts calmly amid the growing cheers of the fans. The Safari Rally encompasses a total distance of 5,027 kilometers and is divided into three legs to be covered in five days. The first leg begins in Nairobi, crosses the vast savanna, and then travels past Lake Victoria and through a mountainous region. 
It's a long distance durability course conducted over a widely fluctuating range of altitudes. The second leg is a high speed run traveling from Nairobi down to Mombasa and returning to Nairobi after nightfall. The third leg first duplicates the first leg and then circles around Mount Kenya. It's the shortest but toughest part of the course. The rally courses through 5,027 kilometers of some of the wildest and roughest lands on the African continent. Taking advantage of his starting first, Altenen in car number one is keeping a comfortable lead. The huge curtain of dust raised by the safari roads impairs vision, greatly hampering the car's times. Meanwhile, Peugeot's Mackinnon makes a dash for the lead at the Kitalai stage. Next comes Hanno Mikola driving a Mercedes 450 SLC. In third place is Meta. Regrettably, his teammate, Altonen, who had been in the lead until Kitali, has lost much time due to suspension troubles in the mountains. Rain. The 79th Safari Rally was marred by frequent sudden weather changes intermittent sunshine and downpours plague the course daily. The progress of Meta, still in third place, is now extremely important, but his pace is calculated to place him at the top. Sounds of beating rain and a roaring engine accompany the hard driving Timo Mackinnon in his Peugeot 504 V6. A delay of just one minute in the Safari Rally means the loss of a point. One thousand nine hundred and sixty two kilometers of mountain roads mark the first leg. Accidents are common, eliminating more than half the cars. The Peugeot with Mackinnon is first. Mikola is in second place. The three dots in PA-10s are all running in the top ten. In the second leg, every car starts from 1,670-meter-high Nairobi with a stiff climb up Taita Hill. From there, it's a long descent to the sea. Here is where Mercedes showed its power, not a trace of sluggishness. Meta following drove impeccably. sped down the single road to Mombasa at speeds up to 220 kilometers per hour. At sea level, and with the tough battling on mountain roads behind them, the drivers earn a quiet rest to a background of gentle waves. Karlstrom was slightly delayed reaching Mombasa. But now it's 7 p.m. and time for the tired drivers to start the second half of the second leg of the long duel.
Meta in car number nine makes a fast start, no doubt trying to catch the leading Mercedes. Private Dodson PA-10 of Yoshio Iwashita is also running well. Maelstrom takes off into the dark in an effort to regain those points he lost at Rebay. Meta burns up the road towards Nairobi. Altonen enters the checkpoint with the first half of the second leg completed in top time, gaining a spectacular leap to sixth place. A dead heat was seen in the scorching pace of the fast second leg. Mercedes captured first place, with Meta only nine points behind, and Fiat third. the third and final leg. Hard rain and a nightmare of mud threw out a real challenge in this final fight for top honors. At this stage, there was almost no points difference in the leading group. Mercedes has lost first place due to radiator trouble. Battle-worn Meta enters the service area. The mud cake vehicle telling the story of the arduous conditions. But he can sense victory is close. The spirited service team has backed him up all the way with enthusiasm matched by fast, accurate service. After thousands of kilometers of hellish mud and dust, Meta points his car straight along the road to victory. The fight over. April 16th, and the men who have braved a torturous 5,027 kilometers return. To the rousing cheers of the spectators, car number nine, the Datsun PA-10 enters. Meta's overall points already proclaim him the winner. With his win in a Datsun 240Z in 1973, he now has two safari victories under his belt. Altonen placed fifth overall. And ninth was Karlstrom. The fierce struggle is over. Datsun captures an amazing triple crown. Overall first place for the fourth time, team win, and a first in its class. Nissan had four cars in the first 10 places, but not easily. The fight against the powerful 5,000cc Mercedes was tough. The PA-10 is the best driving car that I've ever driven. It's forgiving. It's light, it's got uh, enough power for the needs of the safari. Only 21 of the cars which challenged the vastness of Africa completed the course out of a total of 66. These 21 included four Datsun PA-10s and two KP-710s, again proving before the eyes of the world Datsun durability as well as its superior overall performance. The teamwork and efficiency that went into winning this rally attest to the spirit in all Nissan's manufacturing plants. It is this teamwork that produces a better car and winning quality.